For years, science fiction writers from Edgar Rice Burroughs to C.S. Lewis have imagined what it would be like for humans to walk on Mars. As mankind comes closer to taking its first steps on the Red Planet, authors' depictions of the experience have become more realistic. Andy Weir's The Martian begins with a massive dust storm that strands fictional astronaut Mark Watney on Mars. In the scene, powerful wind rips an antenna out of a piece of equipment and destroys parts of the astronauts camp. Mars is infamous for intense dust storms which sometimes kick up enough dust to be seen by telescopes on Earth. Every year there are some moderately big dust storms that pop up on Mars and they cover continent-sized areas and last for weeks at a time, said Michael Smith, a planetary scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Beyond Mars large annual storms are massive storms that occur more rarely but are much larger and more intense. Once every three Mars years, about five Earth years, on average, normal storms grow into planet encircling dust storms, and we usually call those global dust storms to distinguish them, Smith said. It is unlikely that even these dust storms could strand an astronaut on Mars, however, even the wind in the largest dust storms likely could not tip or rip apart major mechanical equipment. The winds in the strongest Martian storms top out at about 60 miles per hour, less than half the speed of some hurricane force winds on Earth. 